check it out. See. Check it out. Now, man, I'm on Instagram right now. Man, I'm just trying to look at some thotties to beat my dick, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Now, everybody tagging me like, yo, X killed himself. Look at his Instagram. He killed himself. Oh, my God. He hung himself. Oh, my God. No, you dumb motherfuckers. He did not kill himself. Okay, let's just get this clear. If you look on X's Instagram, and I'm talking about XXXTentacion, I ain't going to put up the video here. It seems like he hung himself, okay? The iPhone happened to catch the right angle where you can see his neck a little limp, and it looks like there's a rope around his neck, and he's hanging from a motherfucking tree, okay? Now, suicide is not a motherfucking joke. Don't get me wrong. But you niggas got to distinguish between a good album promotion and, of course, a nigga really committing suicide, okay? If you don't know, he got an album coming out in two days called 17. It's supposed to be the soundtrack for all the depressed individuals, which, by the way, that's a huge topic in hip-hop that's been ignored for years, okay? It's been knocking on the door. We see people who go through these mentally depressed cycles. Kelani almost killed herself. We almost hear about Kanye West may have been suicidal. Kid Cudi may have been suicidal. So when you hear these things and nobody really really gives any credence to it because we laugh at those motherfuckers for the most part okay kalani and her little was she, uh, she was taking fucking vitamins or flintstone tablets we laugh at her okay kanye people don't believe he was going through a mental breakdown they say he just wanted the money he was just lazy he didn't want to perform kid cuddy people call him a weirdo so people are not that well receiving to people with mental health issues okay so when you hear x Come out with an album where he announced that he's coming out with an album to address it. And by the way, he did lose someone to suicide. So he has a lot of experience with it. He's also gone through depression. He has a lot of experience and he's speaking from a place of knowledge. He wants people to listen to the motherfucking project. Now, he got to put some harsh imagery out there in your fucking face for you to pay attention. Yes, he's going to stage a fake hanging. Okay, you see how you guys all ran to my page to tag me. Now you guys see the powerful imagery that is, and maybe you'll check out his album. But do I believe for a second? And by the way, I do have his number. I could call him. Listen, I, I, he ain't dead. He ain't dead. He ain't dead. Okay, come on now. Like, who, who dies and then it posts to Instagram? Like, there's no auto post feature. Come on, get real. You know it's not true. However, it's great promo, okay, for the subject matter to come. While it's a very serious issue, phenomenal promo okay i don't know who shot this shit this shit looked like it was amateur but professional at the same time again from what i've heard from x's album and i've heard some sounds and i've talked to him about it he says he plans to really shake this shit up and also make it clear that this is an issue that people have to pay attention to he's making y'all pay attention right goddamn now get in the comments if you guys like them subscribe to watch academics you guys can go check it out but i ain't gonna repost it or i won't i mean i can't really because you know youtube they take everything very literal they'll probably think it's real okay get in the comments if you academics make sure you guys like and subscribe